today's lesson, we're going to install PHP MyAdmin so that we can be able to manage our MySQL database. I think we're running MariaDB, but both of them um, can be managed with uh, PHP MyAdmin. So today, uh, when we finish setting up our uh, PHP MyAdmin account, we will be running it out of a domain. Um, we'll run it uh, from this domain, which we've been using all through our tutorial. So we run it uh, like this, PHP my admin. Okay, and we will also, um, we will also set up a subdomain for it as well. So I'm aiming to see if we could set it up so that we can run it on pma.codesandpixels.me like that. But today, once we're done, uh, the PMA subdomain should be active and we should be able to access um, PHP MyAdmin on this domain. So that's the goal for today's lesson. Um, so before we even start installing PHP MyAdmin, I think we should set up this domain. I'm not sure if I've already set this up. So let's go to our route 53 on uh, Amazon and check this out and see if it's already set up. If it's not, then we're going to set it up right now. All right, so let's go to, uh, you log into your Amazon, obviously, and you go to route 53, you go to hosted zones. So this is the domain we've been working on. So we open that up and we're going to check to see what we've got. So we have the accounts we set up yesterday but we don't have any PMA subdomain here. So we're just going to set it up and point it to this IP address, which is the elastic IP that we attached to our EC2 instance that we've been using so far. It's very simple. Just create the record and the subdomain is PMA. And then it's an A record, obviously. And then we just put the number here and create record that's it so that's done um, what we're gonna do now is to install PHP my admin and then once we finish installing it we're going to configure the virtual host file for this particular uh, subdomain all right so let's go to our terminal okay so right so let's just log into our our instance here all right so we're in Let me clear that so we can come up all right so I've already made some notes on what to do when you're setting up your PHP my admin it's easier this way so we can just basically copy and paste and speed up the process of doing this um, so I've gone through uh, the steps and I've tried to simplify it uh, in a sequential form as much as possible uh, there might be some differences with your own setup, but pretty much um, everything in here would work. All right, so this will install PHP my admin. And press yes, press yes, press enter. Okay, so here, um, just make sure that you have the asterisk here. Otherwise, you won't be able to you know, when you get to uh, start configuring uh, the, the GUI for PHP MyAdmin, you might run into some problems. So press spacebar, just make sure that that is in there, like that. And then tap space to get to OK, press Enter, and let it run. All right, so you just say yes here. And Okay, so let's uh, create a password. Okay, then press tab. Okay, press enter. Confirm your password. Press tab. Press okay. Okay, so let's test the login that we just created for the root. And see, all right, so here 
let's see what privilege is php my admin uh, user has um, okay so yeah so it has all privileges okay so now that we've checked that this file exists um, if you don't have it it means that you didn't actually select apache web server during the installation you didn't check the that the aesthetics is on there um, but if if you get an error instead of this uh, confirmation if you don't get this confirmation then you have to run these commands to fix that issue but since we've got the right um, confirmation we're going to move on to step two let's go check and see if we can access it okay so we have a successful installation for php my admin um, if we try to log in, I think we'll get some error. Uh, let's try PHP my admin. Uh, if I remember what the password we set up was. Uh, yeah, let's see if it will go in. Okay, so it does work. Alright, so we're going to uh, log out of here. Which I think this is the icon. Alright okay and we're gonna go back so now that we've successfully installed php my admin and we can access it on our browser we're going to go ahead and set up the virtual host file for the subdomain configuration so what we'll need to do is to edit this file Um, so the file is empty right now and these are the commands that we're going to put in there okay so these commands have our server name and the location of the document root for php my admin and then the rewrite conditions for the url so we save that Control x y press enter Okay, so once we save the file, we have to activate it. Okay, enable it. Okay, so we have to also edit the SSL version of this. So we're going to do LFA just to see what's inside this directory. And we can see the one we just created, uh, PHP my admin config file so I'm going to create another one uh, but for SSO and then activate that as well so we do that now uh, we do that we do PHP and do dash le dash shell config open that up so this will be the SSO version of this file and we've declared all the directory locations and we've also um, added the location of our SSO certificates and private keys and so on so that we can get uh, the subdomain to run on HTTPS and redirect as well so this should be able to do it I've added this in the description so if you want you can use it and modify for your own purposes so control x y enter okay and we have to enable the file as well so we'll run that and any So we would Apache. Okay, that should do it. So if we run that, 
we should be able to access PHP Miami on this domain. So we successfully installed it. You'll see that the root login will not work. So we need to create another uh, user and give that user privileges. So we'll go to our command line and we log in with, uh, you know what, let me just clear the screen so we can get a better view of what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So, okay. So here, going to create an admin uh, at localhost and next we're gonna grant all privileges to this account Now, if we flush privileges, and we should be able to log in. Okay, so now that's done, we exit. And we should be able to log in with the new user we created. There we go, we're in. So here we'll be able to now manage all the databases that are on our MySQL installation. All right, so basically that's it. Um, if you found this useful, uh, please like and subscribe and share. And uh, yeah, see you guys later, peace.